Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain 10 things about Nanny and Orphan Maker in about a minute. Nanny and Orphan Maker's first appearance was in X Factor issues number 30 and 31 in July and August of 1988, and they were created by Louise Simonson and Walter Simonson. The cyborg known as Nanny was once a brilliant inventor who was responsible for many developments in cybernetics. She was employed by a group known as the Wright, for whom she created various devices. She discovered that the Wright was an organization operated by Cameron Hodge, and their sole purpose was the elimination of mutants. Seeking to stop the group, as she was a mutant herself, Nanny rebelled, and she was sealed in one of her egg-shaped robot battle suits, trapped indefinitely, and quickly losing her sanity. She eventually escaped from the Wright and sought to rescue young mutants. It was through these endeavors that she came upon the Orphanage, which was a front for an experimentation lab run by Mr. Sinister. She rescued a young mutant named Peter, whose powers were unknown, but she fitted him with a powerful battlesuit capable of ignoring most forms of damage and actually reflecting certain energy types, like Cyclops' optic blasts. He also employs numerous heavy weapons. Nanny's mutant power is a minor form of telepathy, which she enhances by exposing her intended victims with a coating of her pixie dust, a concoction of her design that lowers the willpower of those it touches. Peter seems to remain a child, or child-minded, as do the mutant children the two save by killing their non-mutant parents. The children are mind-controlled into joining Nanny as part of her Lost Boys, keeping with the Peter Pan theme. The team utilize various weapons designed by Nanny, including a giant ship they use as a mobile headquarters and a device that can de-age an adult into a child. The two are a frightening combination of nursery rhymes and firepower, and that's 10 Things About Nanny and Orphan Maker in about a minute.